Well, greetings. I just want to say God bless you. I just want to talk to someone real briefly, a new Christian, someone uh, just now coming into the faith and the knowledge of Jesus Christ, who he is, what he represents, what he's done his first three years here on earth in his ministry, particularly. Um, well, I just want to say change is always uh, it's a process. While here on earth, we're constantly changing as believers. We're going from faith to faith, from revelation to revelation, from glory to glory. And the guy um, I was five years ago, I'm not that guy anymore. I may be in the same earthly suit. You know, I may have the same name, but my faith has shifted. Uh, the anointing of God on my life has shifted. And, and God gets all the glory for that because of uh, persisting in him, prayer, uh, stand with him uh, while under attacks, stand with him while the devil whispering in my ear to give up. So all, God is uh, always in the business of changing us, taking us from glory to glory to glory, from faith to faith to faith. When we depend on him and when we uh, totally just surrender to him, um, heed to his voice, um, just always just stand in his presence through prayer and things of that nature. So I would say to that new believer, uh, a key thing you should do is read your Bible. Um, read your Bible often. Uh, I was stored with the book of Mark. There's uh, 16 chapters in the book of Mark uh, gospel. Um, Mark gospel is it's a unique gospel. It's one of the shortest uh, gospel with 16 chapters. But Mark, when you study and you read the book of Mark, you would notice that Mark was more into Jesus actions, not just his words. You know, a lot of people can say something, but do something totally different. Uh, Jesus said it and he done it. So when you read the book of Mark, it's a book of action. Uh, always remember that Jesus is always on the move doing something uh, for his father. So, and he also spent a lot of time in solitary prayer with the Lord. Um, so I would just challenge that new believer to read your Bible daily, uh, get in a good church fellowship, with like-minded believers, uh, keep the fire of God burning. You know, I've been saved almost, almost uh, uh, 13 and a half years now, almost. And, and I tell you, uh, each day gets sweeter and sweeter. Had many challenges, faced many trials and tribulations, but there was nothing for me to go back to. You know, I hope that makes sense. There was nothing for me to go back to, and I wasn't going back to my vomit, period. Uh, so God is is very, and he's faithful. I can say that God is very faithful and he's just. Uh, so stay with God, read your Bible, uh, be around like-minded Christians, uh, fast and pray. I live a lifestyle of fasting and praying. So fast and pray, um, spend time with God, share your faith, and, and God will reward you in due timing. Uh, remember, elevation and timing is like first cousins. Um, God will elevate you and take you to a new levels and new heights in him uh, at the right timing. But you have to stay with him and you have to talk to him daily and you have to fellowship with him and spend quality time with God. Well, I hope something I said made a little sense. I just want to come in and say, God bless those of you that are new believers. God bless those of you that are coming into the faith and the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Well, he's real. Uh, he's made himself known to me. Um, I've had a call in my life when I was a young man. I didn't know. Family members, of, of course, didn't know. So, um, you know, like everyone, went out into the world and done uh, worldly things, ungodly things. And, and But God still loved me. And uh, he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for my sins. So that became personal to me. Even though I went to church and heard it, even though I ushered in the church when I was nine years old, uh, when he really touched me and changed my life um, and I began to fellowship with him daily, it became personal. It became a relationship. Now I, I know his voice and there's no greater voice to hear than the voice of the Lord. Well, God bless you. Again, I hope I said something that really touched someone, uh, really said something to inspire you, encourage you. Uh, but always remember, keep the faith. I love you. But I told y'all a few years ago, God love you more. Ah, got him. Take care.